Welcome back everyone. We are in the garage starting on the Sportster again. It is already five o'clock in the evening outside right now. I've actually been out here nearly all day uh, doing a lot of test fitting and cutting and uh, mock-ups. So what we've got here is a host of tests and trials and everything is led up to this piece here, which this is just out of Luma light for uh, test fitting purposes, making sure I have all my holes in the right places. It's an interesting shape. Did not do that on purpose, but it works. I'll throw up a picture here just to show what it looks like on the bike. And that piece will not be by itself. It's actually going to underneath the motorcycle will be this giant boy here and it's going to be Let's see connecting right there so this big old bar here will actually be taking the uh, blunt of my weight and impacts and everything and the rest of these are just basically redundant mounts uh, simply to be overkill in case the bike does go down uh, it'll probably be one of the strongest parts of the entire motorcycle we're going to be making it out of uh, 5 16th steel and uh that's pretty thick. That's, um, I don't know. That's as thick as my vice grips. That's how thick that is. So it's going to be super beefy, but I also did that for a reason because that's actually how thick my tracker die aluminum plate is slightly thicker, just a little bit. And uh, the steel will be a lot stronger, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and then I've actually put the factory cover back on. I've got the factory cover back on simply because the offset spacing on the backside is already correct. So I'm going to be having this big rod coming out through here, and that'll be a mounting point eventually. And then these will actually be mounting to the plate, through this hole, through this hole. So it will be extremely strong. All right, so I got my piece mostly cut out, but I have a small issue. I don't really have enough force or I guess just enough patience to drill out all these holes. Um, this is some pretty thick stuff. I think this might be actually pushing the limits of my own back of leaning into it. So I think the time has come possibly to pick up a drill press. Um, I've been putting this off for long enough, but I don't think I have much of a choice. And I still have more to do. So that's where I'm gonna call it tonight. And uh, in the morning, I'm gonna run out to uh, the local Harbor Freight and pick up some tools. Uh, yeah, this is going to take me a minute to organize, so uh, I got to move some stuff around.
All right, so it has been probably about two weeks since I've actually worked on the Sportster. Um, I ended up hurting my back for about a week and a half, and then I helped Jess out on her BMW, and I finally got the BMW out of here, put back over in the overflow shed, so I can finally kind of start to work out here again on the Sportster. So I'm gonna call it right there for this video, kind of let you guys check out my progress so far. If you have any suggestions, comments, advice, I'm all ears. And uh, in the next video, we'll try to finish up these foot pegs. And then I'm really excited to get started on the header. I, uh, I just want to see the bike start to come back together again. And uh, I've got a long time until spring, but I'm excited to get back out here and work again. So until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.